today I'm Moskal here and in this video we are going to look at exporting and importing within WordPress. Um, check out some of our other videos but we are working on JolieMoskal.com. She has a mental health therapy business in the Columbia, South Carolina area and we're looking at some local SEO and what we're doing is we're redesigning the site but if you are just looking for exporting and importing your WordPress stuff. This is what we're going to do. We're going to export this site as is, which we've already done, but just to walk you through, log into your WordPress uh, account. Hopefully your website is not going as slow as ours is. But then, okay, so you've logged into your WordPress account. Go down to the Tools section. Go down to Export. And then we're going to export all the content. We've already downloaded the export file, but you want to click Download Export File. I'll go ahead and do it again. And then we're going to save the file. This is going to be what the file is named. And then if you are using Bluehost as your web hosting company or whomever it is, uh, you need to log into your web hosting company and then go and create a new WordPress. Well, this is what we did at least. We created a new WordPress uh, website really on the same URL address and we're going to import this current website into the new spot. And like I said, if you're just looking for importing and exporting stuff, uh, <laughs> you're in the right place. So we'll, uh, all right, just trying to, I'm getting a little mixed up. So we have JolieMoskal.com, then we have JolieMoskal.com backslash test design. We're going to go ahead and just open this up in a new window. We've already logged in, and we're going to import this other website. So if you can see... This is JolieMoskal.com test design. There's nothing on here. And this is JolieMoskal.com, her real website that has, it's like 8 or 16 pages. So, we're going to go down to tools. And this time, instead of Im exporting, we're going to import it. And you need to click this WordPress thing right here. We have to actually install the importer first, it looks like. I've done this a few times, uh, just spin a little bit. And make sure you activate it. Activate and run, and then here we should be able to pick our file, yeah. So that was titled Jolie Moskal. There it is, Jolie Moskal. So grab your image, or your uh, WordPress <laughs> file, upload file, and import. Import author. Um, this is just, not sure if she has it on here, no. Let me show you what this is with the import author on one of my other websites. it's right here this by that's the author so you could put by administrator or we're gonna put by Jolie Moskal or you can assign them so we're gonna actually just ex assign it to an existing user uh, if you have any questions about this stuff please just leave a comment below it it's really not an important thing it's just who you're uh, assigning as like the author for that article or those pages or posts and then click submit when you're all set and looks like it didn't get some of our images which is no problem um, if you have any problem with that let me know in a comment below let's go ahead and look at our website though and the reason I believe it didn't get those images is because we're using a different theme I assume those are probably theme images is what I'm thinking it's my suspicion. If I'm wrong, uh, let me know and I'll be happy to find out. 
why those images didn't come in but we personally aren't really going to worry about it because uh, we just want to it, we're going to redesign joliemoskal.com which is why we imported and exported this wordpress blog um, if you want it to look exactly the same make sure you get your theme there should be I think we could I know we can get the same theme but we aren't going to worry about it maybe we'd even just put the same theme on here and it might come up properly we're not gonna worry about it because we're kind of redesigning her site we really just wanted to keep these uh, keep the content and make sure she's okay with everything before we get too crazy you are probably going to have to go in and make a few edits when you import your new site uh, so I'm not let me know if you have any questions or any problems I'll be happy to make some uh, more videos or talk to you personally and this is Dan Moskal you can visit Dan Moskal University uh, you can also check out what we're gonna do here in the future with this local SEO or even just SEO in general um, you can visit our website for some more tips you can run over to Amazon and grab a copy of our book how to create a website easy button please comment below like this video share it with your friends family and colleagues and have a great afternoon